Hi there, I'm Mina and I'm back to help you improve your English, expand your vocabulary and learn new ways to say certain sentences. Are you ready? Subscribe to my channel, smash the like button, let's get into it. Imagine your friend asks you a favor. I'm going on vacation this weekend. Would you feed my cat while I'm away? Uh, I really want to help, but I'm busy. Oh. Another one. Can you type my article, please? I don't have time. Mm, I'm busy with my homework. Oh. Yes, there are other ways to say I'm busy. For example, I'm up to my neck, here, up to my neck, or I'm two ears in work, right here, two ears. <laughs> you can also say, I have lots to do, or my plate is full. Of course, you don't have a plate, it's an expression referring to having lots to do. Oh, good. I'm swamped is a good alternative. I love this one. I'm snowed under with work. All right. How would you feel if you had lots to do? You were so busy. You felt snowed under with work. I would definitely feel tired. Yes, right. Tired. Very tired. So say it differently. You can say I'm worn out. I'm wiped out. I'm exhausted. I'm tired out. It means I'm really in need of rest. You can say I'm dragging or I'm dog tired or I'm pooped to say I'm extremely tired. My favorite one is I'm bone tired or I'm tired to the bone. I really love new ways to communicate. What's your idea? Tell me in comments. Okay, picture this. You're out shopping, looking at some beautiful cups for your kitchen. When you accidentally break a cup, glass or something in the store, you definitely say... I'm sorry. Yes, right. You can say it differently, like... Please accept my apologies. I beg your pardon. I'm so sorry about that. Oops, excuse me. My bad. I'll pay for it. My mistake. That was my fault. As you see, the last four ones are less formal. When we make a mistake or do something wrong, it's normal to offer doing something instead to make the other person happy or to, to say we really understand what we did was wrong. That's why I said, my bad, I'll pay for it. We can use will to suggest something like, I'll clean it, I'll buy you a new one, I'll pay for it. Things like that. Uh-huh. I see what you mean. Uh, risotto with the shaved truffles and the roasted rib steak with the golden chanterelles and the bordelaise sauce. Unless any of that stuff I just said means snail. Oh, he is hungry. He's hungry or he's a starving or he's freaking hungry. There are other ways too. For example, I'm hungry as a bear. I'm hungry as a wolf. I can eat a horse. I'm that hungry that I can eat a complete horse. <laughs> you can say it in a funny way. For example, my belly is talking to me or my belly is touching my back. I want to go! <laughs> In such situations, we ask the person to calm down, take it easy, go easy, relax, chill out. 
Two more. Just drop it. Let it go. By saying these two, we are asking the person to forget about it. It's hard for some people. Take a deep breath and count to ten. One, two, three, four. Yeah, it helps the person to relax. I've got two more. Keep cool. Cool off. You can also say, take yourself under control. Or, when I squeeze my hand, here, my hand, squeeze. Oh my God. <laughs> was this lesson helpful? If it was, please like and share it with your friends. Try using today's expressions in your daily conversation. Please subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for new lessons. Bye for now.